everybody to Battle Pirate's Crib. Uh, we're going to talk about the raid, Counter-Strike. I'm sure I'm going to get some interesting YouTube uh, hits that I probably wouldn't have gotten before for people that are looking for something else. But, uh, oh well, uh, they'll probably be highly confused. But uh, let's say hello to everybody. Uh, Peg Leg. Greetings, everybody. No, no Yoda. I didn't have to move you. Uh, move you to last. Yeah, I could, I could have brought him on, but you know, I've been gone for a little bit, dealing with some family health issues and things, and I uh, just didn't quite have it queued up yet. Okay, all good. Oh, okay. not using the force he was. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Welcome, Enjoy. everyone. I hope you have a good release. Enjoy the show. Use the force. Kill the bad guys. <laughs> there we go. And Derpy. Chaining range. Chaining range. So, yep. That, uh, don't watch the movie. So let's move on. All right. Um, they've enabled the battle part report for PvP base battles, allowing players to see the primary source of damage to their fleet. Okay, I asked what this meant. Um, I know what this means because I asked them to do it. Well, what does it mean then? Yeah, you know, the battle report you get after the yeah, 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 yeah. But when does it apply? Just turn when it does on. it not? I turn yeah, that yeah, on but, now. Okay, okay. So it, it hasn't apply, been on. It applies, it, it applies to the attacking fleet, not the defending fleet. So that's the um it only shows immediately after the attack for the attack the conqueror fleet that's attacking the base. It does not show for the defender fleet or the turrets inside of it. So it's not as wide reaching as it potentially, you know, they do specify fleet. But I think a lot of people, and I asked if that was going to be a problem, at least to put, it seems like it's not going to be a huge problem to put it in for the Defender fleet, but it seems like it's going to be a little tricky to put it in for the base. So we might see a change where it's put in for the Defender fleet, but not the entirety of the base, your turrets and buildings and whatnot. So uh, uh, that, that's the part I wanted to clarify. Um, the Halo missile and the FM, and I assume the pillage targets that involve the uh uh the lionfish uh it now has a large a larger minimum range now that's an interesting little little blip here because i don't think i saw that in the bug fishes fix the uh, fishes i can talk fixes were initially put out mentioning that um that i tossed up on the tfc page yeah that they, certainly I encourages you to try to get to the within that minimum range faster Yes, yes, yes. This was added hours, maybe the next day ah. afterwards. Um, and the third one, the line surface delay when it stops moving is now 0.1 second uh, as opposed to 0.4. I assume this just, uh, the, it only applies to the surface surfacing and not the submerging, the way it's written. That's the way I would understand it, yes. Yeah, but we'll I would make... hope it would be applied to both symmetrically. You well, would hope. words have meaning, and if you read that as written, it doesn't apply to yes, submerging. Yes, is not the best at communicating what happens in words. To yes, play. I know they they get a fail in English class, no question there. So, D minus at best. Okay. So uh, they're interesting. It it, it seems. You know, we'll have to see when we see the FM next week um, how large they made that the, the the hole in the the largest and the minimum range. See if it's you know. It's actually updated currently in game. It's already live. You're hitting garrison targets. Yeah, I hit uh, yesterday. Yesterday evening, um, I went through and hit some FM okay. targets, and okay. um, I was told the minimum range thing already exists. It already has a larger minimum range. So question for you, being that I didn't have time to look at that or anything, how big of a minimum range are we talking? It's it's distant enough to be inside for a little for a little time. I mean, it's, it's about the same as the minimum range. The minimum range is about the same as the range of your ships, your linefish. Um, okay. Which Hefe doesn't like for some reason, but I think that's perfectly valid. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Let's move to the next one. Peter put this in a general chat yesterday. Uh, we'll get rid of the first sentence. 
I can tell you I agree that Swallowtail and Base Force campaigns are too, were too hard, and future campaigns should not be on that level of difficulty. Well, um, there's so no that special. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So that's good. They were pushing back on it, and we will later be talking about the, uh, you know, especially the base force, uh, the upgrades that we're getting on the lionfish were more what we expected than what we wished for. So, um, and I think the swallowtail. Will, well, I won't say it wasn't that bad, but. Um, but future campaigns should not be on that level of difficulty, which is good because I consider the Swallowtail to be reasonable-ish, but the base force for what we were getting out of it yeah. was not was not worth the uh, the damage or time invested. So, Agreed. So, alrighty. Um, oh no, I forgot to do some exterminator TLCs. Speaking of those, I had two run-throughs I was going to do earlier today. I forgot about it. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, move on. All right. Right now we're in Counter Strike. Um, high ground is for Everest. <laughs> I don't know why it's there. And it, then it, it, it's for that starting out player, somebody playing from way behind that's just trying to get, you yeah, know. But, can't, but, but, do you get, but don't you get fully built Everest at this point in something? I, I think there's some, some tech in there that allows you to upgrade them if you feel the need to. Mm -hmm. yeah there's there's some there's some upgrade tokens but i mean honestly at this point your everest are useful until to get lionfish yeah yeah that's the point of them so yeah but then we have uh i forget for the 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 uh karen the deep tlc where you get the they're not built at that point so i guess i go okay whatever um and we have base force which seems a little bit over the top and merge the damage if all you really want is the three day defense platform tokens. Um, next week we have the Forsaken Mission. Um, the new one, yes. Yeah, the new one. So it looks like it's going to be three weeks again. Um, BXP Weekend, um, Heavy Metal TLC, which we assume is for the Ironhide. Um, the rest of them not probably worth doing. Damocles, and then uh, I don't know. Is Perilous Blade for the um, Sky Sabers? I thought it was Damocles. So it was Damocles? Okay. Yeah. I can't remember. And Unsolvable Horror, I stopped at Prize Back 1, so I don't even remember what it's for. Exterminator. That was for it. Uh, uh, okay, that's the Exterminator yeah. one. Okay. Uh, then I we thought it was for Abomination, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I think it was Abominations. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense with the name. You know, um, if they could put the name of the ship that you have prizes for next to this thing, mm -hmm. that'd be helpful. Yes, it would. Yeah, yeah, it might run out of space, but I, I, I think we're expecting a uh, surprise on uh, the next calendar for Pillage. We'll, we'll wait and see if it happens. Um, it'll make Derpy very happy. Um, then we have Bounty to the Flame, um, which is where you're going to get... Uh, Five upgrade tokens, eight build tokens for your swallowtail, um, and there's you know ten available in the uh, in the raid right now, and um, so just keep that in mind as far as when you plan when you want to do your uh, upgrade your normal swallowtails versus your flag, because um, the flag there's no help but uh, gold. So um, and then tear in the deep for the lionfish. Uh, which we'll talk about with the upgrades. I'm wondering, I'm hoping, because I looked at the kit number, and we'll get to that later. I don't think there's enough kits in the in the raid, and they're, and they're mighty mighty expensive. So we'll we'll get into that a little bit later. But that that's for lionfish, and hopefully they'll add the uh, the kits in there. Um, a little bit of the kick side. How bad do you really want it? You got to work for it initially if you want to be on that cutting edge. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, and Terror the Deep is a very, very uh, reasonable TLC. Yes. Yeah. Um, the pillage again, um, and yada yada yada. So, uh, any more thoughts on the calendar? Not really. Okay. Let's move on. Counter Strike. So, 
We got the targets. Um, we have uh, uh, two S targets. Um, each is 250K. Uh, the 100 is the auto target. Uh, the 101 is the skill target. You get 500K for that. And then if you completed both the 100 and the 101, I have those stacked. There's a 500 um, um, K X target and a 250K Damocles Y target and you would get another um, 500K. This is higher than, normally we're getting 250 on the, on the second one, right? Well, it it, uh, it changes <coughs> if it's the first rate in the cycle or the second rate in the cycle. This is standard. This okay, is the this same is... price structure as we had two months ago, different than one month ago. Okay, okay. All right, okay. So, uh, yeah, we just need to add the E-target in there and we're good. So... Um, the then, E yeah. target? Yeah, you could add S, X, E, Y. Ah, sorry. Well, you just flip. flip so the uptake you are today. Mm -hmm. Good Irishman. So, um, Derpy, do you, uh, you're probably repairing, right? I've got uh, 45 minutes left on a repair. I can coin it after about 10. Okay, okay. We'll move forward and then we'll we'll take a look at these targets. Uh, we got the store, which looks like it's uh, overwhelming. Um, unless you're getting a lot of points, you don't need to get the skins. Oh man, look at those! Look at those two mutators I can pick up. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, um, and what, oh, I don't know. You know, they're, are you better off knowing? Are you better off knowing it's an ex if? Uh, other people know it's an abomination mutator skin versus an, you know, what kind I mean, it is. It's not too surprising. If I show up with four exterminators in the fleet and I have a mutator with an abomination skin, or or it would be funnier if you if you you swap them and you put the exterminator skin on an abomina abomination, you know, and they're like, oh, that guy's an idiot, but he still ran over my base. So yeah, uh, pretty funny. And then w watch somebody put these on, and then you know, in a playing slightly intoxicated and thing, don't realize they grabbed the wrong bomb, the wrong mutator, because of the skin on it, sticking it with the wrong fleet, trying to be clever and actually does something dumb. Yeah, there's also a possibility too. there. Yep, and you can get your second menacing swallowtail, which is after Derpy's preview, um, despite the fact that you would have to. Uh, what spend like 14, 15 days building it and then every time upgrading it, it does feel, at least when I was watching you, Derpy, that the, um, the menacing swallowtail is a little bit vulnerable to accuracy based damage. I would agree. Yeah. I'm not going to build a second one, but uh, people who coin the whole thing to X1 already might want to. Yeah. And then we have the Trifire Heavy Thrower, which we'll get into more. Um, which is, you know, um, good thing to have. That's our first 10.5 level turret. Is it 10.5? I haven't yep. checked the strap block. Okay. And it is a thrower. We'll get yep. a little bit more into that later. Um, the Hydewood engine, if you already have, uh, your swallowtails, you don't need that. Um, we have a limited invader plate. Um, I'm not sure why it's, uh, not just you know pv you know invader defender but we'll get more into that one um and as far as the limited uh uav if you're i probably wouldn't spend the points on them if you're hitting the if you're hitting these targets because they're going to drop shards and you're better off just getting them through shards or making them your last last priority and wait till the end um, if you have enough points to wait till the end and get those you'll have enough points from you have enough shards yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and there'll be more again in that tlc that'll be given out so the odds that you need them is pretty low yeah so i'm just yeah i'm just trying to point out the things that are it's a lot of stuff and featured way more than we're used to seeing and then we have uh 10 upgrade tokens uh and 10 build tokens for the swallowtail and um, 
VXP token you probably don't need. And the rest, you know. Well, I need one. I've needed two, actually, because my, I didn't have, I only built, um, I didn't build one ship till like a week or two ago. So Are you going to use it during the raid? Yeah. Yeah, I already got it. Uh, Again, new Swallowtail upgrade. Uh, They just. They never, never. uh, Yeah, it's been a long time since they did that. I mean, years. Um, what is missing from the store was um, what was it called diary. draconian ice wall that was mentioned in the CM diary. I'm assuming that's been pushed to probably bounty. That was supposedly coming in this event, and yeah. instead they seem to have moved the tri fire heavy thrower into place. Yeah, it seems like they're having some global warming issues, and uh, they're trying to keep that motherfucker frozen, and it's go. not working at this point. So it's it's melting and fucking up the Gulf Stream. So they're they're doing some work on that one, and maybe we'll see it you know next week or afterwards. I think the tri fire heavy thrower was the replacement, but you know. So we put more fire into things. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we throw a flamethrower in there, burning gasoline and whatnot, and hope that fixes it for the uh, the ice wall. I'm the logic's beyond me. Um, yeah, and if you're playing in this raid with Swallowtails, you probably don't need the Hydrophobic Warheads. Uh, these also work well on your, uh, uh, on your, uh, Lionfish. And the Buckeye UAV targeting, um, is available as well. And then we get over the kits. Um, we have the Swallowtail and the Medicine Swallowtail kits at 10, or 50, okay, what is what is count them at the lower numbers because you, you're available to get them at fifty for the for the swallowtail, but you're forced to buy them at ten. Um, you know it looks like fifty three clicks to get all of them of the uh, the lionfish upgrade kits, which you know I, I don't understand why they didn't get the the fifty treatment the times fifty like the swallowtail. well because it's so much more expensive they figure you can only get one or two. Oh, they, they didn't want you to say 2.5 million? I don't know. I guess that's it. Yeah, you know, because the number would look too big. Because, you know, then, then we'd be competing with the uh, the heavy thrower and... Uh, yeah, the, something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, otherwise... Because when I went through it, if I could get the math right, it's it's 10... It's, what, 10, 40, 60 to get to U3? I don't know. 10, no. 10, 10 for, 30. For, 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 for regular lionfish, it'd be 10. 10, 30, 60. It's 100 even. 30, 60. Oh, okay, so they, they nailed it. Okay, it's 10, 30, 60. Okay. Okay, so so they nailed it. Yeah, you can get all your ships. If you claim all 40, you will get 400 kits to get to U3, um, which is expensive. You know, 20 million just for the upgrade kits for the, uh, the normal ships. And then we have another uh, um, five million plus for the. Uh, that, that's sort of pretty much the expensive part of the parade, isn't it? Is the lionfish upgrade kits? Yeah, it seems like that's going to be the heart of the, the expenses. Yeah, that and the heavy thrower. So, so. Well, there's some people that are that are. To, to, to talk like the cool kids dissing on this thing before they've even seen it in action, so. Which one? The, the lionfish upgrades? The thrower. It's crap. It's this. It's um, that. That's the usual response you get when there's new PvP tech. It's not going to be a one-click solve my world kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more, but the fact that it's radioactive, and I don't think a lot of... I haven't um, looked at the base halls, but I don't think a lot of people have specialized... Well, no, we yeah. haven't had a effective PVP radioactive weapon since the um, those launcher things that are two tiers or a, yeah. a full tier behind. I forget when they're from tier nine, tier eight and a half, tier nine, nine and a half. So I forget. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on. All right, the lionfish upgrades. Oh, what thank God! You expected? think this projectile? Well, we not... You I'm think sorry. this projectile speed is going to make my countermeasures work? don't know in theory it should help but we all know theory and reality are two very different things 
yeah, unless the the flak evade or counter and our countermeasure is so high that it's it's you know not supposed to work. I don't know. Uh, on the left is the uh, um, is the flag, and on the right is the normal ship. As you'll see, there is a boost um, relative to the normal ship in explosive and penetrative survival and in penetrative damage. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. But my thought is, is what we thought they were going to be, but not what we wish they would be. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I wish the U1 line just said countermeasures work now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, or... Yeah, something here. I mean, they definitely and the, appear the to be worth... the same, so... The flag's... What do you mean? The flag is identical, is it not? No, no. Yeah, no, not quite. Are you watching the show? I'm looking at it with my face right now. Oh, it's got higher survival. Higher survival and higher penetrative damage. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> no comment. All right, well, let's move on. All right, All this right. time the flag's the same. Yes, this time the flag is the same. All right. Um, as we see, there's a hefty boost to penetrative and corrosive survival. Yep. Um, and then it creates this morning cloak aura um, with a duplicate aura cap of five and a range of 120. I think when you were doing your preview, you had you had one ship. At, I missed the first five minutes. I've got so. I've got one ship up to up to X1, okay. which I did okay. with tokens, by the way. If anyone cares. Well, yeah, you save them. That's, that's the standard strategy you use. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought you were using your fans only money, but it's all good. Um, the Okay. We have a combat speed reduction uh, hostile of a range of 120. And it's negative uh, 18%, which seems pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty um, Seems like a high number, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> how do you think those, you know, I put out some ideas in, in places and whatnot. Like, how do you think that combat speed stacks with each each individual order? Because if it's 5 times 18, it's a 90% reduction in combat speed of uh, the incoming enemy uh, NPC ships. Which... I mean, based on historical stuff, that's how it should work as a multi multiplicative uh, value, unless unless it's capped. I don't like, know. Unless I think it works. I think I don't think that's how it works. Okay, how do you think it works? Well, I think um, what Pegley was trying to, was going to start saying: you apply one. And then you apply the second only to the remainder that's left. Sort of right. Like how old Diminishing old returns, stuff. survival. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. That, that, so that was I think my it's, theory. That I think was it's, my theory. That was I think my it's one. I think it's one minus 0.18 to the fifth, giving you an effective combat speed of 37% or 63% slow. Yeah. Now, you could also say, oh man, these enemies actually just have 50% tactical field resistance. And just, you know mess you up like that but there's yeah. Yeah. I, I think it i think it i think my vote is that it uh is diminishing returns yeah well yeah. we'll and, see and, when and, somebody and, has that, a full... that, was, that was my first guess because i thought 90 percent reduction was way too high and that was my first guess and it was wrong it is 90 percent reduction no it's not that either <laughs> what the hell is it? Is it uh, duplicate or cap one? Duplicate? Oh, the du it, that's in there now. That's that's good. What's in there? Duplicate or cap? I don't think it was in there earlier. Of uh, oh, th did they make the change already somewhere? That it's on the slide. It says it says duplicate or cap five. Oh, five. Five. Yeah. Five. You see, right? Yeah. Yes, it says five. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I I made a. Uh, Based on the way I heard it worked, I wanted to have two duplicate aura caps. The way it works with any combat speed reduction aura, or I think any mechanism, it counts the highest one and just the highest one once. Says who? Since when? Since when? <laughs> yeah. Excuse yep, me. That's, that's what I'm I said. Not, that's not what we've been no. doing it the entire time we've played the game for over a decade now. What the hell? 
<laughs> that's no. that's why I was like, oh, I'm curious how this is going to go over. Um, and I suggested no. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, that's what Peter told me. Then what's the point of the duplicate ore cap? Is the reloads do go down to negative 50%. But the combat speed stays at negative 18 if you have one or you have five. That's um, highly misleading. Yes. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, politest yeah, yeah. way I can say that. Yes. And that's what I told him. And that's why I suggested that we have a, a duplicate or a cap of five that is listed below corrosive reload or right above corrosive oh. reload. And then a duplicate or a cap of one above combat speed. Mm -hmm. to make this much clearer to people because I, I you know in base you know in, in base defense i was always asking if i have this aura doing this and this cannon slowing you down here and this happening how do you combine all those and i never got an answer out of anybody and so i assumed at that point you know you know i, I assumed they didn't know the answer but it appears according to the uh, you know the game engineer that only the highest counted. I believe the game engineer is a Sith and he is <laughs> using the darkness of the Sith to mislead and misdirect. <laughs> yep. So that was, you know, so um, Derpy, you did a really good thing by slapping, getting one ship to X1 so because whole, that is going to slow benefit, them down. The combat speed reduction. What? Yeah, you've maxed out, all the yeah. benefit of combat speed reduction. Yeah. Yeah, that that's I'm sorry. I mean, I work with, with marketing people for the company I work for all the time. This is piss poor marketing. It's not piss even poor. It's not it doesn't even, even it just doesn't do what it says it does. Yeah. Most of the blueprints in the game actually do what they say they do. This one doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you knew that rule, which I I had asked that question about in base defense all the time. You know, like my Wendigo combined with, you know, X, Y, and Z and, and the, all the old portals that had. And I'm like, how, how do these all combine? I never got an answer. And this is the first time I've, I've learned what the answer is. It's I never highest. wanted anyone to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you had, you know, you had something in your base that was doing negative 30 combat speed and you had a bunch of other ones that were doing negative five. Because I wonder, oh, what was that? Uh, the Venom Spitter? Didn't that slow you down? Uh, you know, there's other things in the game where it, it would create auras, and you know, we were putting a bunch of them in, and hoping it would slow people down more. Yeah, was, there was a there was a corrosive scatter gun, which I loved the daylights out of that thing. But if you got enough of them, and they were ripping on the fleet, they literally shut the fleet down. Yeah. So I don't know. I asked a straightforward question, and I got the answer because I was like, "Is this simple as five times um, eighteen?" Uh, equals 90 and then I got that answer so wow that's the way it works yeah so, so um just so everybody knows tell your friends and neighbors I think we're gonna have to do a PSA for the TFC crowd so they're aware of this because I know nobody it was news to me news to derpy probably news to everyone I'll yeah, tell it you. was news to me because I was doing a um you know uh, if you had a combat speed of 100, it would go to 82 with one, you go to 67, you know, the diminishing returns type of thing where we would we would take a look. The first one, reduce it 18%, and then the second one, reduce that Reduces 18% of what's left. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, okay. All right. Um, uh, we, we made a, somebody made a comment about, oh, there's Swallowtail Flag, never mind. Okay. It, I think it was a lionfish one that the differences weren't significant on them. And of course, the upgrade time for the flag is always much worse than the standard. So, yeah, if they were the same, it would have been a problem. I was thinking we talked about Swallowtail flag. It was the lionfish flag we talked about. So, okay. Um, yeah, I just threw this out there as far as people talking about, wanted to talk, if you, anybody wanted to talk about. Uh, you know, because I noticed Derpy that you were doing some uh, uh, mocking up the end of your your uh, uh, opening raid show, as far as you know, wanting to create a uh, uh, 
uh, a tank. Yeah, I mean, I thought about uh, essentially tank. if you drive these targets decently well, you take no corrosive damage. Yeah. So, and the, and the flagship gets pelted with missiles, and it takes a lot of a lot of damage just focused on that flag. Um, they don't want to use a king killer mechanic because that means king killers targeting the ship with the highest health yeah. left. They don't want to use that anymore because it means we can't use an evade tank. Um, yeah. Okay. Reduce, they don't uh, have that in the targets. Why don't mm -hmm. I just use an evade tank? Build something that has two faster combat speed and has ninety percent evade. Why don't I? Why don't I build a ship to do that? Refit a ship to do that? Whatever. And because uh, we did that with the Damocles, it doesn't work out quite as effectively because these ships are limited to having are uh, restricted to having air weapons only, UAVs only. So you can't use that siege mort. Mm -hmm. But you can do some. You can get halfway decent uh, design going there. Um, yeah, I mean, but the the build I saw you going for, assuming at this point that you know, because it's gonna be a little out ahead, and it makes the assumption. Because when I saw you doing that, I was like, okay, if you drive it really well, th this is gonna be this is gonna work out well. If you try to auto it all. It's that that flagship or the the tank is is just going to go to crap. Why? Because it because it doesn't have it doesn't have because uh, it had all evade armors, and those evade armors were higher you know much higher uh, cost to repair. I agree. Um, and the, so it didn't have any corrosive damage or corrosive armor besides what was built in through upgrades and built in through upgrades and armor. has. It has lower pen printed mount, which is pretty low values these days, but it does have, you, you can make it so it has the same range, but it's, uh, well, well, probably well all, take all it out I'm of saying is auto. like, it, it becomes a, you can just take it out. It, it becomes a auto. driving only, uh, fleet at that point. Was, was the it becomes a driving only to. ship. You can take it out of the fleet when you auto. That's why I did with Damocles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, and that, and that, if that you did sense. that on a standard hull, you're going to have enough tokens to make that a possibility without going crazy. So, no, that's that's why I wanted to bring it up because it's you know because you made a good point. If you're going to auto, a lot of times you can just pull a, a ship out because that that ship wasn't doing a lot of damage because the specials were not tuned towards damage; they were tuned towards combat speed and evade, as opposed to being tuned towards damage so if you're going to auto something there's really no reason to have this thing out there exposed to everything there's a reason we went back it's okay just checking okay so um um should we move forward or derpy are you getting close on your uh, repairs yeah i've got i've got two minutes left on that one so okay well let's move forward i think we can all right, the um, 10.5 heavy turret, the Tri-Fire. Um, Classic Reaver artwork, nicely done. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, the air intakes and all that kind of stuff. But it's uh, I, I, when I looked at this, it's uh, it's interesting as far as I don't remember any turrets providing deflection especially this. i think this is new i went and yeah. checked a few of the turrets i've got in my base and I yeah. the ones i looked at didn't do this so this is really interesting yeah so that's the first time we've seen this um and that has a firing angle of 270 i'm a little curious if um it's like the octohedron what, what was the uh the weapon that had spaces in between it because it's something yeah yeah yeah, um, the one we spun around with, um, because it has three, three things. But we'll see. I mean, uh, it says tri-fire. You assume something comes out of all three of these, which is different than any other turret we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mean, and if anybody thinks about, well, I guess nobody's claimed it yet because you know maybe on Friday. Um, like, how would you, you know, once we somebody's claimed it and built it. Because I'm still thinking there's only a couple places where you could take advantage 
I mean, you could put it where you have thunderclaps because it's got that same general. I mean, if it covers just 90 from each of these or 270 in front, it looks like it can't shoot backwards, agreed? Right, although if it's if the if the fire comes out of the nozzle with some kind of a wide angle of some kind out of each one, I assume it has to, in order to equal the 270, it technically sort of can shoot somewhat behind it. Not a full mm -hmm. 90 degrees behind it, but 35, 45 degrees in from both sides. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see on Friday. Yeah, I mean, you're 90 degrees from having 360 of coverage, so you got to assume that each one is putting out a nice pie shape. Yeah. Um, as far as buffs for this, um, there's no shockwave. So because there's, we have a couple of radioactive specials. There's no there's no shockwave on this. So you don't no. need to include anything that has shockwave. Although that one has uh, a real that has a reload. The shot the shockwave one I believe has a reload bonus with it. Yes, yes, it does. And, you and this reload time's already pretty low. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, so more what I was going to suggest is the projectile speed of 260 is low, uh, but the range of 85 is pretty short. So I don't – more what I was thinking is radioactive damage, projectile speed, and splash are the three things that I – Yep, I'm, that's yep. what I go for. Yep. Yeah. The three things I'm looking for on this uh, – you might not need projectile. What's the projectile speed on here already? 260. 260 for an 80 range. It seems decently high, right? Yeah, I mean. Is it is it accuracy based or dumb fire? Dumb fire. It's a thrower, so it's probably dumb fire. Dumb fire, yeah. It's a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. Um, well, that didn't stop them from trying that uh, last. They uh, tried it. But yeah. They tried it. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I, was I don't know. I, I think you probably remember the gift that I sent them. Um, <laughs> Please explain to me how this is accuracy. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah, high, very high reload. Um, so, um, there is a reload special, you know, once we get it and see it in action, um, you know, there's a couple specials you could use in, in regards to radioactive reload and damage. Right now, the only one I'm sold on is the one that's radioactive damage and um, reload. Um, I'm not really, uh, I'm, not, I'm not reload. Um, I don't know. I, we'll talk about it on Friday once we actually see it in action. Right. Yeah. Uh, back of the base, I, I think it's more of. Uh, it's a short like range a weird spirit. edge or you know i don't think it's back of the base i think it's more a turn you know a turn place or like up to you know coming close to a turn um it really depends because it only has a range of 85 so it's a stopping mechanism so i don't think back of the base i think front of the base and it's sort of like a portal that it's gonna because Seven million damage with salvo five from two, and then the, all the damage additions. I think it's more. It's I think I think it's closer to like a portal, where it's a stopping mechanism until you kill it. Does that make sense? Are yep. the numbers wrong for that? No, nope. I, I think that's a good analogy. Yeah. So, um, let me see. What do we have? Uh, all right, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm just seeing if we have. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go with you. Um, all right, I'm switching over your derpy. All right, so, this is the a, this is cinema layout. Oh, 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 this is a new layout. We haven't seen this oh, This before. is pretty cool. All right, this is the 100 target. Um, and there's a few different things in here. There's these missile executioner turrets, which outrange you. You can countermeasure them okay. There's these Kodiaks ships. They have long range um, missiles that you can countermeasure, but they have a decently high countermeasure of eight, it appears. There are the short range turrets and their scatter guns. You can just barely outrange them if you press the down button really early. Mm -hmm. There's heavy cruisers, which are pretty fast, and they try and come at you really quick, but you can outrange them. Um, 
And then there are these ammo carriers. If you kill them, they spit out an ice field, which you are immune from, but the enemy ships are not. So I'm going to sneak forward here, target this first portal, chain out onto a few things if I can. Um, chaining range is pretty low, and there's not a great indicator of what you can and can't chain, chain to. So I didn't really get too much on that uh, turret there. So I'll just sneak forward until I just barely shoot at it. It's corrosive. Um, you could also do the drive-by technique where you go very quickly. Then I'm going to yeah, move forward. And, and, and it was weird what, what you just did when you were chaining off the gate. It went to the ammo carrier, and then, like, you would assume, because you didn't move, that all of them would have moved to that turret, but only it appeared only a small percentage went to that turret. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, I'm, it's more than chaining. Right? There's something else we don't quite get here. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure which ones actually made it to the turret. I think it was the ones that, I think the ammo carrier died first. I'm not sure about it. Anyway, God, shot sorry, at a few things here. And for instance, this heavy cruiser died. So they, it's enough to kill heavy cruisers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Or is it se seven? Seven chain count, one of those. So let me go get close, shoot at this missile turret. And that should train off onto a few of these things around here. And that leaves it at a fraction of a help. help. So, you know, critical would be nice to get that down a little, little early. But let's go use this uh, ammo carrier to chain off of here and um, see if it actually does any of that, which it looks like it didn't. So we'll have to wait for another one to spawn because I think I can get it off onto this heavy cruiser. And we were talking about in the pre-show, um, does the point where the first thing hits matter or does where it leaves matter? Because that right here looks close enough to chain from where my mouse is. Yeah, where, it leaves. where it leaves. It's probably not. So. Yeah. When it, when it leaves, it's looking, is there anything within range for me to go get? Nope. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I believe All right. Come up. Triggered something, so I'm going to run away. Notice no damage taken from that uh, heavy cruiser, and I killed the Kodiak before it got in my range, although I did get shot at a few times from that. Do you have one countermeasure hole in here or two? I've got two. Okay. And, and do you think it's... Uh, I think I need to. I mean, I, I might need two and a half or something. Yeah, yeah, that's more what I was thinking. Because especially, you know, in the, in the later targets, when the Kodiaks come at you and you have three of them bearing down on you, I don't see how you could keep up. You know, that you might need five or, you know, five or six. So it looks like when you kill this little building, it spits out some ice fields randomly. Um, but but, but, but that, that spawns your ammo carriers. Why would you do that? They're your because friend. I was trying to take because I, I was trying to get onto these things. I chained onto yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying the ammo carriers are your friends in, in my mind. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they don't they don't actually aid the enemy in any real way. They don't. Yeah, so yeah. I probably shouldn't have killed that. But you yeah, know, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know that the ammo carriers are. You know, you can use them to slow down, chain off. I mean, they're they're your they're your buddies. <laughs> you know, despite the fact that they're they're wearing a different uniform, they they appear to be one of your best friends in these targets. And at this point, look, I've taken almost I've taken no damage on chip four, but a ton of damage on chip two. <laughs> yes, they, they had a they had a family to feed as well, but you know, sucks to you know. So I, I'm just going to grab this missile one because it's close and then loop over to the right side. You can chain off this ammo carrier here to get this missile turret without getting shot at. From the little bit I saw, uh, as long as you've got the countermeasure special on, yeah, you one got through you on there. Okay, I was thinking that you're shooting down all of those. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you don't, I'm, I'm, you don't shoot down all of them. You get close. I'm, I'm not worried about the turrets. I'm worried about when the, the Kodiaks rush him in some of these other targets. See, I'm going to try yeah. and pull these two over the ice field towards me here. Yep, like that's that. a good play. And then this other one will die without me even coming in range of it. If you kill one and it's close to the second that entire time, you're fine. So I'll leave this guy alive right here, see if I can't pull some of these ships just a little closer. I'll kill it and then pull him right over that. I like that. Nice. Yep. Real nice. Then I'll 
I won't, I'm, I'm not going to quite kill all these other things right here. This Kodiak's still alive, so I got to stay in range, which is disappointing. But And notice one thing in the little bit of time I caught on TSM stream when he was just mucking around at the beginning. He, um, when he got a single Kodiak, uh, against the fleet, he would charge it and go ahead and use that the bubble moving damage dealing weapon on the front of it to knock out the Kodiak faster. Hmm. I don't know if that's, he didn't know either, but I don't know if that's the appropriate tactic or not. I haven't used it at all the entire time, so we'll see. But hey, no corrosive damage. Yep. The um, countermeasure stat here is a little misleading. Um, it counts both things, or the evaded stat, it counts both countermeasured and evaded. So, right. you know, 16 minutes damage on the target, but it's not instant repair because the flags just sit in there. It's got 10 minutes on the flag. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, which is annoying. Now you've got the you've got the hyper thirty build on yours. So your evade isn't as high as it could be had you been running yep. GS three or something, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's tricky to tell. Oh, Eleven minutes. It's tricky to tell if he had run GS three, would he been able to avoid all of the uh, uh, corrosive damage? Or Not all, but stuff. more, because TSM was getting one percent. He's got a GS three build. Okay, but he so also he was, taking, can... well, was he was he act, actively messing up? Because I took a little when I messed up. But... Um, when he drove it, he didn't really mess up other than on one corrosive turret. Okay. Yeah. So if he if you can outrun the ships with uh, no hyper thirty, then correct, I'd go with GS three. And then once you've got that X one thing in there for that negative eighteen, which you have, you know. Yeah, which is this orange ring here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And if you're running um, uh, sea serpents, you know your your turn speed might right. turn into the Kodiaks incoming. Yeah. Then I'm going to try and get off on this uh, ammo carrier early. So hopefully, when they leave that, it chains onto something like and that. There you go. Or yep. this one right here. Should that might chain off onto the turret? No, not quite close nope. enough. But another another set of Kodiaks incoming. You can't really time change the timing on them too much, but yeah, could this yeah, get transformed can... into like a you know a nineteen fifties? Uh, so there we go. Chains onto this one. Syphilis video. Could get the turret. Uh, that's a hell of a leap you just made there. <laughs> well, well, explaining how people get syphilis and how it's, you know, moves throughout the community. The fact that that's where your mind went, that's an interesting one. <laughs> it just feels like a disease vector <laughs> as far as the uh, uh, the way the UAV, cha uh, UAV uh, chaining works. If you get close so if, enough, I, if I sit right here for long enough, it's possible that I may... Uh, may have some things actually work out and might be able to grab this turret or I can get mm -hmm. a little closer and actually just shoot it myself. Can't you get the turret off chaining, on that, chaining off that gate up there instead of? Probably can. I'm going to try one more thing too with this bottom ship and see if I can't get a few of these, few of these ships off the sample carrier. No, not quite close enough. If, if it didn't, if it wasn't in the ice field, it might have done it. Yeah, if it was fast enough, it was the, you know the first one. See, I don't think this gate's close enough, but I can try. Actually, it looks like it is. It's got it both of these are damaged. See if it works though. No, didn't work. Darn. Oh well. I'll take one hit. Zero hits, so just one, and that I'll changes look, onto a ship. Yeah, that changes that, onto a ship. Yep. Changes onto another one. Unfortunately, the ammo carriers kind of get in the way and distract, but uh, yeah, well, even but onto it, this it, big turret onto this guy. I mean, I got halfway across the map with this. Right. And as you learn the target, you're going to learn, okay, if I clear this area first, then I can chain off and clear this other area. I mean, we're still early in the hole. Yeah. Learning the sequence to unlocking the most effective chaining strategy. Yeah, there we targets. go. So that ammo carrier means I'm on this ship on these two heavy cruisers. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite kill them. But this one here should get better. Yeah, well, you get another. You got another one coming by. 
and you can get a little closer to that. You can get closer to these Kodiaks, and they you're might. Getting, you're getting easy. burned. You're getting burned by the ice field. Yeah. Well, you think the ice field is somehow well? It's it slows the UAV carriers not getting far enough away. Right. Oh, okay, it okay, slows okay. them down, and so then they don't get within the quick range of, you know, carrying the UAVs, attacking them as they get closer to those ships and chain off. Cat's uh, asking, is the UAV crew effective? I don't, I don't think anybody's trying no, to. No, we, we think the UAV crew does not add chaining range, but make sure chaining range 35 if it's not already at least 35, um, when it is already at least 35 with the ship. All right, getting shot at, so I'm going to close the gap a little further and hit back against this guy. And then get out of dodge. I still think UAVs are fun. They are. I, w I wish they were a little. It was a little easier to wipe out the whole target in one go here, but we couldn't have that, could we? No. But you, like I said, you're going to learn what what area to clear and how to chain off of this that. And you'll get a sequence. So down. This one should get that ship. Wonder if it's close enough. Not quite. No. No, you're getting burned by an ice field. Sounds like an oxymoron, but it's kind of true in this case. This one should get a few things there. I want to try and hit. So the problem is the ship's coming towards me, so I can't really. Yeah. Do anything yeah. with that guy. Well, I'll go. I'll go grab these few uh, heavy cruisers just because I can. It seems like I'm. I've got plenty of combat speed against him. If I had thirty percent less, would I still? I'm not sure. I think you would. Although you're you're only on four ships, not five, right? Yeah, that's true. So I'd go and even the, faster. Right there, because there is a, there is a bonus there if, with that extra CIC from the fifth ship. Okay, I do remember that this turret right here, you can outrange. Just barely, yes. Just barely. And it can chain onto all these heavy cruisers. Right there. If the ammo carriers don't get in the way, that is. Right. Which it looks like they did. So. Yep. So they can be your friend, but they can also hurt your efforts. Clearly. But that goes back to, you know, use, you know where to use them in the target, know where you don't want them anymore, and, you know, developing that sequence of taking the target down. I thought that date would have let me. Maybe I killed them in the wrong order. But these turrets aren't too bad. I think the Kodiak is the primary damage element. Yeah, and if you're on auto, obviously the the heavy cruisers are going to screw you up. But yep. So if I park right here, this ammo carrier is going to come in range and chain onto all four of these. Maybe maybe this one too. Or we'll just die early. Yeah, I got a few. Now the next one that comes in will be a little too slow. Yeah, unfortunately that other one grabbed grabbed some of your effective chaining. Just wait a little bit here, yeah. Yeah, you can look at the combination and the speeds between these guys. I mean, if you slow some of them down, not others. That's pretty close. I thought that ship would start triggering, but that should get that should get three of them. Yep. You think? Yep, there we go. And some on that uh, fourth guy, too. So now I have to go closer, probably, and get within range of this. Actually, trip. it's going to get six. It got six of them. It's on another there one. Yeah, that was nice. So if I want to deliver a swarm to the turret, i got to hit... That one with no ice field late enough that it can carry it there, maybe. Yeah, I went to the closer target. 
it's almost like it, when you've got to kill off the the I, I'm going to call it the the ammo carrier generator. I'm sure there's a more proper name for it. But like once you've got it down, you, you prevent any more of those coming from one direction, so you can work them. If you're really trying to you know go for the lowest possible repair from the chaining effects, or or let them come back around. Don't kill them. I think they go out the corner of the map or something. Well, oh, oh, this is coming from the other side. There's the second one on the other side? Yeah, yeah. there's one one on the top, okay. one on the bottom. So you got two of them coming at you. Uh, okay. There, we, there go. we go. Unfortunately, not enough to actually get the missile target down. But Well, off of one. I mean, I guess you could grind away and do several. Yeah, if they keep on coming, there we go. The next one's down. Which, at this point, I've spent a long time in this target, and I had completed one earlier in, in five minutes, and I have, I'm have 10 minutes through this one. I mean, I don't think it's saving me that much repair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some. I'm just, you know, looking at potential, you know, you know, things in the target. I wish they would have moved at that point. You know, when they're in range, but they're still standing still. I guess it's good and bad, because if you encounter that one higher up... Maybe Let me go use my little damage things on this guy. My little. green ring. Nah, didn't work out great. All right, well, hey, there we go. Started with 11 minutes damage. Um, tiny bit of corrosive at the end. And mostly penetrative. Okay. 34 minutes damage. I mean, that's probably instant repair and base. Might be close on the flag. Wait, you walked in with how much damage? 11. Well, 11. Okay, so, okay. Uh, it's close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, get it there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the amount of, yeah. That's yeah, true, but it, some, it, some it, people it play that It does not usually way. take that long. I can run through this one a little bit more quickly. For example, I'm not going to bother chaining off. I'll chain off one gate, but I'm not going to bother playing ammo carriers coming around because I can kill these these guys right here, heavy cruisers, for no damage. So. And why didn't it chain off? That's why. It wasn't close enough. It looked close. You know. Yeah, it does, but it's, it's, it's not. Right. These two guys are going to loop up towards the turret. Yeah, because the Kodiaks are not following you. They're they're going on. Yeah, no, they're on a set path. path. Yeah, and they're not going in a path that takes them through an ice field anyway. <coughs> There's a lot of missiles incoming right there, and yes, I still there think are. I fired at all of them. Well, I'll say for sure we won at least the two that I talked about when we did that testing of the VXP target. I wouldn't. I'd hate to see it with less than two countermeasure ships in this thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm wondering. If, yeah, like I said before, if a third one, uh, because uh, is it just some of the targets where it's? Because again, I haven't hit the targets yet. I've just watched you and TSM hit some targets. Um, is it all the targets that you tend to get uh, much more damage on the on the flag, or just some of them? All from what I've seen. Okay, I, but it's not. It's not. I think it's mostly just that. I don't think I took too much more. I don't think I was overwhelmed in the one in the one one hundred. Yeah, the missile volume didn't get to the same level. Yeah, you, you can only uh, cat. You can only put two on each, so you can't. Um, you can't put more than two uh, MDS threes on a on a hull. Countermeasures. It's air, um, air on six slots, and then countermeasures and or air on uh, the two others. The other thing you have to determine is how long can you actually stay in range of one one thing before you kill it. 
so this MLK regeneration thing is actually about to die. This is a decently large target. It is. I'm going to go get this turret here, even though it's going to shoot at me a few times. It should lock up a few more possibilities. Now, is this gate going to be close enough to that guy? I don't think so. It looks too far. Yeah, the answer is no. But one thing, I, I, you know, not to put more work on you, Derpy, but this appears to be one of those targets that you like to put out a, a video on how to hit a target, like, within 18, 24 hours. Yeah, within, yeah. within three or four sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, quickly. It might take it might take a lot longer this time. Well, what I'm thinking is, you know, but a lot of times they assume that you're getting better results, you know, the next day, right? You okay. know, you might you might have, and this looks like one of those targets that you might be getting significantly better results, which I sort of like, you know, in my mind. Um, not, not just as it relates to you, but just in general, that you might be getting better results on day two or day three of a six-day raid. Um, that you might want to put out, you know, a version one and a version two um, to take advantage of, because there's a lot of moving parts here that could really, you know, between the ammo carriers and the there's chain. three Kodiaks stacked up at once. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it seems like you could, uh, you know, uh, the people could reduce their damage significantly by, there's just a lot, all I'm saying is there's a lot of moving parts here in, in regards to reducing damage. Yep. And um, that may be, you know, a second, you know, uh, version one and version two uh, may not be spamming YouTube, but might be helpful to people is what I'm saying. Well, and you figure the usual people that do put videos out, Jerry, Crying Lady, the rest of them, they're going to they're gonna have their patterns, or in Jerry's case, sometimes wild, crazy builds worked out to produce some pretty impressive results, usually. Um, yeah. I would think autoing in these targets is, is going to hurt a fair amount. It, uh, it wasn't that bad in the 100. I think I took about... Um... I actually can't. I took about 50, 41 minutes damage on auto in the mm -hmm. hundred. Yeah, it was about that. Um, and the I actually autoed the 100, 101, and that was an hour twenty. Yeah, an hour twenty compared to you could almost do it for instant repair other than a yeah. short way to the flag. That's, yeah, it's a pretty big difference. Yeah. So mostly penetrative on this one, and very little corrosive. And. I was already at 34 minutes damage, so I did this one for 25. There you go. Okay. That was the 500 for 25. So. Okay. So it seems like a reasonable target. And so the the last one is the Damocles for the the sexy bonus. Yes. So. If you're calling it that. Well, I, you know, it's appropriate, don't you think? We can we can add our own E in there. You can buy a Val. There you go. Yeah. Right. I should be able to get this one done for preload repair because I've got the um, I call it Apex Predator build. Um, but not on the flagship because that's kind of dumb. So the high evade. Uh, Extremely oh, high evade, ninety-one percent of it. Okay, let me see. Well, mine. I don't think mine's that high. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. So I just went up on that left-hand side, cleared everything, kept moving because you do get targeted by one of the mega um, cannons when you get somewhat close, and got that whole left side. This is an all-new target over, too. Grab the right side, then run up in. But this is an all new target. This isn't a re a rehash from the Damocles raids either. Correct. Yeah, 
I'm going to stay moving in a straight line because there's something that's going to be right there. That guy just landed. I like to shift click and then hover over the other one. Like, well, that one's pointing the wrong way, so. Yep. Almost in that one. It's fine because it's, it's going the other direction. Okay. Okay, that just landed, so I'm going to turn around. Grab that one. Well, honestly, I might have to hit, to hit this target a few times because my Damocles are better doing these than my Swallowtails, which isn't too surprising. <laughs> Yeah, and well, they're all at X1, so yeah. Right. These radioactive things are just landing, which means I probably have time if I go directly there from here to get there beforehand, or I can spin around a little bit. Um, or you can sneak by on some of these. Yeah, because it moves. Oh. Right there. So I was a little close, but I got, I got by in terms of timing. Yeah, yeah. And I, I have hit this target once before, so I'm remembering a few of these things. So I'm not hovering over everything again. So I knew that one was pointed down that direction. But, um, oh, I missed, missed that guy. But hey, that's the target. And I mean, that might be, that might be map repair. Tiny bit of ballistic, so little it shows none, none taken, and um, you know, pretty small amount of radioactive, and that's three minutes twenty three seconds damage. So very nice. Map so it's a reasonable. Yeah, you know, it's a reasonable. If you don't have the freaky you build, you're gonna. Knock it well, 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 yeah, yeah. You <clears throat> click in the uh, in the left. You know, bring back your battle report. So you didn't. Yeah. You, the ballistic is helping with your your high evade build. No, wait. No, no, no radioactive. Radioactive, yeah, radioactive okay. is helped by high evade. Ballistic is not evaded. Okay, okay. That's true. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? I guess it's pretty much... Uh, Peggy, you want to bring the slides back up? Sure, give me a sec. Oh, I've got... Hold on, keep me on for a second. I'm going to redeem the okay. heavy thrower. I don't need it i would rather have some tokens but let me just see if i can pop it in real quick and i'm probably out of base parts you are out of base parts currently yes yeah and it's overpowered for that platform i mean i'm gonna start it and then cancel it it's overpowered really you yeah, well the, the combination of specials on there probably yeah. So if I start this, I can just cancel it and go back to what it was, right? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. But but you're not gonna be able to. Oh dang it! You're not gonna see what it is. Oh well. Well, we'll have an answer on Friday. Okay. Alrighty. Let me go back to you, Pig Leg, and. Uh... See what the next slide has for us. The Time conquest. For, you know, so we get a um, slight boost in um, in evade, same um, combat speed and turn speed, but a uh, you know gone from twenty two minutes per plate down to one. I'm assuming this one is second. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm down to one second. But we assume that you're only allowed to put one of these on a ship. It doesn't say you can't put more on. Okay. It doesn't say equip cap one. Okay, so you could you could fill them up with this if you wanted. So if you had enough limited ones to do it, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Um, yeah, I mean, which is, it looks quite useful. I just wish it's it not exactly what I was hoping for. What were you hoping for? Well, I think like you, I was hoping to be able to put this on defenders as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I was yeah, also hoping, I... I was also hoping it could be unlimited. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. As far as the only be able to put it on conquerors seems weird. Uh, what have you claimed the Lego and know better? Um, because that would be. It would be a possibility because of, you know, a lot of these limited Conqueror armors are um, cap them. You know, there's a cap on them. That's why I'm sort of was a, jumping to the assumption that there might be one. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait till people have them and have the ability to uh, equip them. Well, we can actually just check in the shipyard, can't we? Yeah. Okay. okay. Which you have to give me a second here. The raid hasn't started here, so uh, well, I guess I guess it's available. No, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Right. Yeah, I get to see my super secret uh, mutator build. I'll make you pause the video for it, though. Yep. Yeah, you can keep on piling them on. So, yeah, you can go with a uh, a high of A build with uh, zero ramifications in regards to the uh, repair time. Yeah, whereas the ones that had an equip cap actually show it up here in miscellaneous. So Okay. You fit more than one. <clears throat> So, alrighty. Um, I think that's it as far as the slides go. So I will uh, uh, yep. post the link in case anybody wants to join the, uh, the show or the after show. I need to get a beer, so uh, probably the after show. Are we off me presenting then? Um, sure. Okay, thanks. Well, if you wait about five seconds, I'll see if I got enough base parts. Okay. Alright, it's gotta be level thirteen. Do I got any of these there? Thirteen. Here we go. Here's a good spot for it. Inside yeah. corner. Okay, here we go. Specials are wrong. Oh. That's well, not a hello great spot there. For it. Yeah. So it does yeah, have it's caps. 90, 90 from each. Yeah. So it does have gaps. No, it can't be 90 from each. Because no, 90 yeah. times 4, you'd be all the way well, there. Well, only at 3. You'd be already at 360, so the gaps are... The gaps are well, it's 90. Maybe 70 coming off of each? And no, each it. one of those red things is 90 degrees, isn't it? No. no. Yeah, it's no, 90 no. times 3. No, no, no. If you're it's accounting 70. for the gaps. Count for the gaps. The gaps are... Oh, interesting. 2015. So yeah, the gaps, the, the gaps would be uh, probably 15 is the gaps. So there's another 30 in there. So it would add up to 300. Uh, or maybe, maybe, uh, yeah. I mean, these, uh, each of these things has got to be less wide than 90. What's yeah. this guy's firing range? That's or it's firing angle 75. 75. So let's get that one. Let's get this guy straight. Straight. Looks like it's a little less than 75 even. Yeah, like 70. Yeah, we'll have to use some math on that one. But hey, that's what it looks like. Okay. No, that's an interesting I'm not going with those specials, but not putting it there either. Jeez. I'm like right here. Oh, yeah. Cause that was my thought. It's like, where do you... Where, where's the optimal place to put this? Because it's firing, you know, you know, I, I don't know. Because it seems like a, 
it, it seems like a fun one to place as far as I guess that's the way to put it. You know, to take advantage of all three arcs. And the other thing that I, I what if I just about, take advantage of two of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and if you go to equip turret, um, I'm wondering if and take a look at the the reload, do they have a separate reload on each one? It's like if somebody tries to breeze by all three of your Oh, that's weed, interesting. Yeah. If they all have they're all gonna have fresh reloads if somebody tries to just zoom past you. That's a good question. Yeah, and where's the telegraph reload? That's been neglected. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So if the telegraph reload is, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that that could, you know, make the whole issue of somebody trying to zoom past you moot if it's takes that long. Um, because the other, re well, no, because they they all add up to a total number. So it would be interesting to see if this is actually. It would make sense when you look at the the picture of the weapon. There would actually be three different weapons potentially yeah um, one two three yeah yeah so now looking look at your specials on there well that doesn't belong that doesn't belong maybe maybe the ballistic shells with the projectile speed but i kind of doubt it i don't know the splash is pretty good because uh, i would go to um Um, yeah, one of them, uh, there's three, are you missing a special? A radioactive, I have three that pop up. Well, I type in oh, oh, okay, yeah, the Meridium Reserves adds a little bit of reload. Um, because at this point you probably want to add splash, go for this right? or go for splash. Um, have Eight you watched, five. have you watched some of the shows like three or four years ago <laughs> where, uh, we would make up, uh, or I would make up what show, uh, what beer, uh, company was sponsoring us each time. You have to go way back to the point where BP professor was on and, you know, we, would make, and we would make up uh, the beer sponsor that we had. <laughs> they weren't actually our beer sponsors. But we did. That, that combo with the, uh, uh, go back to the, like a Zinthium shells. Where you get projectile speed and the splash combined. That might be a Xenthium Shell 2 or something. No, down to your left. You're going to get projectile speed up by 40% and a, and a splash bonus. That might be a nice combo on this. Yeah, we're a little overpowered. I'm not sure the reload's very important. Because the salvo reload... It's point two. The, the salvo reload time is... Pretty significant if you have a salvo of five and you're right. only cutting the point four. So I don't think reload's very useful. Right. So if you pop that off of there, there's nothing more to add for radioactive damage. Splash of projectile speed. Yep. Unless uh, taking this guy off, what you do? 85% splash. Sixty. Twenty-five. Ah, that's a bit over overweight. Oh yeah, that interesting. That conflicts. Yeah, you're running to. Huh. Looks like you gotta go with one of these guys that we're on here. Well, that one gives you projectile speed and some that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll leave that for now. And here we'll shoot at guys in the corner and out here. So maybe it should be swap with this turret. I, I think it, I'm going to try and take advantage of two um, 
of the things rather than make three bit three ones that are kind of not very good. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, I don't know how much uh, more I've got on this one. Yep. You're welcome, Lego. Well, that's why it covers the portals. If you get through it, try to run through, and it covers as you're sitting in front of there. Forces you to stop right here in the channel, which hopefully, I don't know, do we have whiplash turrets in the raid? Yeah, we do, so I can finally get some of those. There you go. I can put a whiplash out here in the... You can whip it and whip it good. Put something out in the channel right here. But... Yep. Well, I got to put something in my shipyard now. Get that fourth, uh, or your, is it your PVP shipyard? No, it's, it's uh, both of them. I could get the, yeah, the fourth normal one going. But, uh, well, you don't have, you don't even have the whole self built. No, I don't. Okay. I mean, I've got, this is the this is all the Swallowtail stuff I've got. Okay. So I can I can get a bunch of upgrade tokens and try and get these U, U two U three guys up, or I can start the normal one. I'll probably just start the normal one. I realized I was on mute when I was commenting to some of these. Oh. Yeah. Well, that um, that would explain why you were so quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the new armors allowing insane evade accuracy, maybe this was in reference to the thrower. The thrower is a splash. Dumb, dumb, uh, dumb fire weapon. So, uh, accuracy is going to be useless on these throwers. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that. And then, um, have you, uh, considered getting a beer company to sponsor? Oh, we, we heard that one. Okay, yeah, that we heard. heard. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure at what point I, I thought I went by, went through both of them on mute. So, yeah. All right. Well, hey, happy Counter-Strike, right. everyone. All right. I think we're all set up to do Counter-Strike. I, um, I, I guess the uh, if you have tokens that are already there is... Uh, I'm still leaning towards... I don't know. It'd be interesting to see on Friday anybody that already has three uh, ships sent up as... Uh, countermeasure ships to see if that provides advantage because the Kodiak because uh, a lot of times you're seeing three at a time and it looks like more than four missiles are coming in between the salvo times um, but you're also going to be losing a significant amount of damage by the change in both the weapons you're using and the specials you're using so there might be a trade-off but if anybody's running three or a full thing um, it'd be interesting to see how that works out is all I'm saying. So make sense. Yep. Yep. So all right, everybody, we'll be back on Friday and, uh, hopefully we know a little bit more than we know today. And thank you all for join joining. Um, and the link is still there. Um, if you guys want to join the after show and we will see you, uh, see you in two days. Sounds Later, good. People. Later, people. <sighs>